this application has more evidence than forms. You're going to need to submit a whole lot of evidence to prove that you qualify to remove the conditions from your case. If you're qualifying based on a joint petition because you're still with your spouse, then it will be a lot of evidence that your relationship has continued on and showing that over the last two years you've been living together and paying bills together and sort of the same kind of evidence you had to submit to get your green card initially, um, but updated and, and over the two year period. If you are going to apply for a waiver based on one of the exceptions, then you know there'll be different types of evidence that will be submitted to prove that you meet uh, the requirements for that exception. So all that evidence is mailed in in one big packet, then the government will send you a receipt notice, as you've seen with other application uh, processes, and then they're going to assign you a biometrics appointment, which just means you'll go to the USCIS office, they will take your fingerprints and take your picture. And so um, after that, you wait a long time, sometimes a really long time, depending on what the current processing times are, and um, to, to, to hear something back. Sometimes they ask you for more information. Sometimes it's just like radio silence for you know a year or some crazy amount of time. Um, the good thing is that the receipt notice that you get with removal of conditions is different from other types of receipt notices you get for other case types. It actually is an automatic extension of your green card and it comes on a more formal type of, a little bit more of a secure type of paper. And so in this time period while you're waiting for your removal of conditions to be decided and it's just pending, anytime you have to prove you're a resident, you can just show your auto extension notice and your expired green card together. So if you get a new job, that's what you show the, the human resources people. If you um, are gonna travel internationally, you take those things along with your passport and that gets you back into the country. So that's really like your, um, I mean, it's paper, it's not a card, but it's, um, but it's the, the temporary extension that you get while you're waiting for the final answer on the 10 year, on the 10 -year green card. And so uh, once, once the case has been decided, you know, they'll send you a decision notice and the 10-year green card itself.